Hell Divers is best played in a team because spreading democracy is a group project. But sometimes your allies are not up to the task. They may be asleep, they may be lazy, or they may just not have the same passion and drive for liberty that you do. So instead of waiting around for a helping hand, you decide to take charge, manifest destiny, if you will, and go spread your seed of democracy all by yourself, inside, on top of, and all over the termites and the automaton. Everybody can get a piece of you, but the fact is, that is significantly harder and a lot less rewarding. So here are some tips and tricks to make your journey easy as you go solo to save the world. The gentle touch of an iron fist. Number one, make sure if you are not playing with your friends and if you don't want to play with anybody but your friends to turn off the setting and set it to friends only so randos don't join your game and disrupt your flow. It is important to pick the right mission and not pick something that is destined to fail by yourself. For example, a blitz mission. Why? Because there is a timer clock on it and you can only go so far and so wide in a short amount of time by yourself. These missions are best left to teams. Secondarily though, every other form of mission can be and is a lot easier to complete if you are patient and really make the most of your strategy and reinforcements that can be spread out further when you are playing solo. understanding that when you're playing solo the name of the game is time you cannot go guns blazing as you would with your buddies and your best bet in a lot of different missions especially on higher difficulty is to adopt a stealth strategy yes stealth does in fact exist in this game even though you may personally have never tried it and you will never see videos of that and you will only see videos about everything being world war 3 where you fight aliens or skynet but when you are by yourself stealth is genuinely your best option and it does work very well where the most annoying enemies the automatons will just walk by you if they don't see you. but even if you're alone Alone, you don't have to play alone. What the fuck does that mean? That means when you're alone, you are still relying heavily on strategies, whether that is orbital strike, which is incredible for small groups of enemies with a very short amount of cooldown time, or the 500 kilogram bomb for large groups of enemies and to cover a larger area. You should also bring an eagle airstrike, which will severely damage heavy armored enemies and can easily pick off the small stranglers or enemies that have already been dead. A good portion of your playtime when playing solo will revolve around stratagems, so make sure to bring the right one. Another strategy, which will always have your back, even when your friends have forsaken you, is the guard dog a man's best friend is a dog a hell's diver best friend is the guard dog rover as it will always cover you and melt any enemies that come near you and it also covers angles that you can't cover yourself such as your back unlike a lot of other stratagems this rover is a good boy it won't attack you or kill you definitely one of the safer stratagems to use which is a must-have if you are going solo it does take up your backpack slot though until you deploy it in field so keep that in mind being self-sufficient is a staple if you are going to go solo, so be vigilant and bring along weapons with tons of ammo and short reload time. We all have our favorite gun that we would like to test out, but do it at a safer time when you have homies there to carry you in the mission. Times like this are for the old reliable weapons, such as the SG Breaker Shotgun, a staple in the game by this point, and its power is very well known. A gun with plenty of ammo, short reload time, and surprisingly long range. The sidearm should be the P19 Redeemer because of the exceptionally high fire rate where it can unload an entire clip within one second and then reload an entire clip within one second as well. It's, it is the perfect weapon of choice to unload into a single enemy and it will kill whatever you fire at as long as you unload the whole clip within one magazine. But the issue you could run into would be the ammo capacity as it will unload and run out quickly, which is why you need a primary weapon like the breaker shotgun, which has a high ammo capacity designed to balance it out. So your loadout is designed to keep you fighting till the end of the line. To take out those big bad enemies, you will need something with a lot more pop. The auto cannon does the job and it can fire multiple bombs before needing to reload but it does require your backpack slot so you will have to choose between more firepower or the guard dog rover if you did end up choosing the rover your next best bet to take out these behemoths are the grenade launcher or the machine gun i would prefer the grenade launcher because not only can you take out big bad enemies directly you can also snuff out the holes in the ground take a large cluster of the smaller enemy grenade launcher obviously fires a grenade so it does aoe damage which can be used tactically as well as hit enemies that you can't see directly which is a power the machine guns lack also machine guns generally in this game are very underwhelming so i would not recommend the armors are a hit or a miss in the game earlier on it was well known just like the piercing bullet the armor had no value i mean there was literally a glitch where it did not provide the protection it said it provided or anything otherwise and it had to be patched i have not tested it out recently to see if it had been fixed or not but even back then and even now the extra additional benefits offered by the armor are very tangible and you feel them when playing the game such as the fast movement speed for that reason i would say always equip light armor 
armor when playing solo simply because running around finding cover getting away or simply getting to the extraction or a vantage point is much more necessary than the very minimal damage you can tank with heavier armor automatons or chargers dish out so much damage that whatever armor you have will not make a lick of difference speed over tankiness should be your motto when choosing what to wear in terms of the extra perks i would circle back to my earlier advice which is stealth when you're going solo best way to win a fight is to avoid the fight so look for armors with lower detection rate that is your best bet secondarily if not that what you should look for is armor that has extra storage for extra stem it'll keep you alive in the thick of the battle but the longevity factor starts weighing in quickly stems are good if you are irregularly caught in a firefight but you need a macro plan to play fight and win solo and that once again is stealth it is not only a good strategy earlier on but once you start to hit those extreme level difficulties and beyond if you are playing solo you have to play stealth to complete the mission it may seem like a foreign concept when you start playing it initially because you're so used to running around and spraying and praying but you would have to start playing things slowly crouching taking cover and overall avoiding being noticed only taking fights that are super necessary completing the goals and getting out of there as soon as possible also one thing to mark when playing solo is the fact that there's a lot of side missions that offer loot that you may just not be able to complete simply because there's a lot of resources and some side missions are more heavily protected than the primary missions themselves if your main goal when playing a mission is to get as much reward as possible my recommendation is to only play in a team of friends or you can even play in a team of randos not only would it make the mission easier but getting these extra rewards also becomes possible So there you have it. Best tips and tricks in order to survive and win solo. And check out the other videos where I list the best guns and stratagems available in the game right now. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff to let me know you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next one. Together for victory. Together for liberty. Together for liberty. Together they fight for freedom.